Ooh, look at this weird looking unnatural picture. Find the absolute minimum, find the absolute maximum, find the relative minimum and the relative maximum. So the absolute minimum is the smallest point on the graph, which happens to be here. So it looks to me that the absolute minimum is going to occur at the point negative six, negative two, which means my absolute minimum value is negative two, and that happens at the x value of negative six. Okay, my absolute maximum doesn't exist because this guy is gonna keep going on forever. So there is no absolute maximum. It goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Now, a relative minimum exists at any point where you basically bottom out anywhere, whether it looks like that or looks like that, or at this case could look like that. So that is a relative minimum. So we have several here. We have a relative minimum here because that's where it bottoms out. Then it goes up, comes back down, bottoms out right there, goes up, comes back down, bottoms out right there. So we have three relative minimums at negative six, negative three, and positive two. My relative maximums are where things go up and peak out or peak out or hit like this. So that happens, it looks like two spots, right here, right here. You're not gonna include there because that's going on forever and at no point will it get like the maximum, it's gonna keep going. So negative four is gonna be a relative max and positive one is gonna be a relative max. And there you have it.